Okay, I'm Kelly Payne from Bellevue East. And this is and this is Rabbit Hole. You say you want to die. You say it almost with pride. If you'd only look around, you'd realize we have tears in our eyes. You can't give up. Not yet. I'm so afraid one day you won't smile, laugh at all the tricks that I played, and one of us will forget to pray that you're okay. We know you're not. And the next we'll wake up to the sound of our cell phones ring, to the voice of a stunned mother because she believes she could have done better, and everything will go spinning as life falls down the rabbit hole, and all I can think is if you were here you'd be laughing. It won't be any fun without you. I can hear your voice in my head now as you tell me sometimes you wish you could perish in a background noise. Did you have any idea what to me those words implied? It's like saying every moment we spent painting our futures on your walls meant nothing. I mean saying goodbye to every happy memory we shared because I'll only be able to see you alone crying. I will still remember the creaking of the swing sets, the clash of the wooden sticks as we pretend we were soldiers. But I'll cry because you won't be there. No one else knows my secrets. No one's delved so deep into my boxes as suffocating. So who will I share them with if you're gone? I can't let you go. I'll hold you tight like you did for me when I couldn't stop crying. I kept thinking of ways I might find you. Broken and bleeding, your heart slowing down till it stops beating. The moment wasn't bleeding. It was the moment I realized you were gone. I wasn't sure what gave it away. The rose dancing on, dancing on the ceiling of the night swimming. Sorry. And then I swimming in the pool of blood, or maybe it was an empty pill bottle you clutched in your hand with the words, drink me, pretty name, pretty cursive. As air forces its way from your lungs, the crimson sin makes its way from your wrist, and the cure forces its, forces its way through your veins, shrinking you down almost nothingness, only leaving a bitter taste. It left me sitting here, cold loneliness we both know too well slept over me, and I'm, I'm wondering, with guilty conscience, am I being selfish, asking you to stay when, you, when you're too, sorry. When I know you're tired, too tired to hold my hand, is it futile to hold on to something that will eventually let go? And it's killing me inside, because I do anything to save you, because I love you, and I know you know. If you jump down that rabbit hole, I'd be at the bottom waiting to catch you. And life isn't a cup of tea, but no matter how bitter, I drink it with you. Because no matter what anyone says, you can't be madder than the Mad Hatter. Oh, we always loved that story. It taught me every second mattered. Alice left her world behind for one that seemed much happier, but I thought it made you happier. So what? Maybe the rabbit looks at his watch because he doesn't want to be late to a tea party date, but I look at mine, hoping it will freeze so down as your laugh fills the breeze. Don't let fate be the queen. When it screams, try your hardest to get free because this teacup is still spinning and this clock, it's still ticking. So if you think about following that rabbit, remember how the minutes we spent talking felt like seconds. Remember your family vacations, happy smiles on everyone's faces because I, you say you want to disappear. But I know you're not so blind as to not realize there are far better things to life.